Oh shit. Oh shit, here it comes. Back in 2003, when I saw Brian drive out of that car dealership with a Skyline, it became my ultimate dream car. The way that engine roared, the aggressive body lines, and those iconic taillights, I just knew I had to have one. After waiting 20 years, I knew that the only way to get one is to import it myself. Paradox, JDM Imports Incorporated. What are we doing today? <laughs> so, we're adding to the car lot. <laughs> That's right, and we're getting another car. another car. Don't you love it? Nope. <laughs> That's right guys, we're going to LA right now and we're picking up a brand new car. It is definitely a dream car. This one's a keeper. Let's go. Yo, they got her in there getting the cavity search done. What happened? Mina's butt. You got searched? Mina. But what did they do to Mina? Nothing. They had to run. I had to take her out. They had to run the, her carrier through the. Oh, okay. Mmm. Okay. Right. Famiglia. I'm here at the port on Long Beach, getting ready to pick up the car. It's gonna come out through there. This is where they park all the cars that are coming in through the container ships from Japan. So here we go. I'm about to see this thing for the first time. This is gonna be awesome. Dang, those ships are massive. Yo, they got the big army trucks. Look at that thing. Apparently there's like 40 of them or something in there. Port security is all over this thing. What's the one on the left side? So it's a Daihatsu, uh, the gray one's a Daihatsu, and then the other one's a Subaru Sandbar van, K, a K van. That's nice. With a glass top roof on the top of the two. Those are really expensive. Interesting. Damn, they're bringing in another one. Straight up armored vehicles. Courtesy of <laughs> Raytheon or Halliburton. Oh shit, here it comes. My first R34. thing we're gonna charge the battery up a little bit because it's been dead oh my god <laughs> dude that thing sounds so good <laughs> dude this thing is awesome See the, let's get a look at the inside. All right, look at that. Oh, super clean dash and interior. Look at this thing rips. I didn't even it, pour it. It's ripping? Oh, it rips, snap. And the interior is super clean. Yo, this is better than all of my cars.
this thing is so badass. Like when, when you're going, it pulls really good too. And it's so clean on the inside. We'll show you another video on how clean this whole thing is and all the little details. The wheel has been raised up a little bit. It did come with coilover. So when the car was put on the ship, they had to raise it up. So at some point we're gonna lower it down, get the fitment going and make it look good. But we're gonna drive it home exactly like this just to be safe. It's working now. I'm not gonna mess with it. I'm not gonna get on it too hard either. Turbocharged. <laughs> dude. This thing's gonna rip. Damn, dude, that's a big ass turbo. Yeah. This is the stock turbo? That's stock factory. All stock, it's stock intercooler. Is this all wheel drive? This is all wheel drive. Oh. Uh, this is a GTT edition, and, or GT edition, but we got all the factory lift, the fog lights, the HIDs, and like the weird confetti interior. This is nasty. It's a four door oh, death machine. What's that? Oh, the mirrors fold by itself? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see if my mirrors do that. <laughs> is this a Japanese only feature? Uh, well, it's like. Well, now all, all the newer cars now have it, but this is back in like what '98 when they had the power folding mirrors. Yeah, but the cars in America don't have this. Yeah, well, not yeah, the ones back then in, 90, in the '90s didn't have it, but now most cars usually do have power folding mirrors. Just a courtesy. Sick. Yeah, all right, here's what interior. dash looks like. The confetti interior. Yo, the back seats all like clean. Family go getter, like basically, like, you know. All right, get let's, around with it. let's go for a ride. Look, oh, look at this thing, look at this thing. Oh, there's still JDM trash in there. <laughs> Who's Somebody's, the JDM trash? There's snot rags in there. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, then this one still has the card reader. This talks. is crazy. It's a... What's that, dude? That's so when you get on the freeway in Japan, you got to pay to get, get on the freeway and get off. Oh, That's how they keep their okay. roads so nice. You don't have one of those? The speakers up there. I think you might have one. Do they leave me any cool CDs? Oh! Hey! Oh, what is shit. that? Voice navigation. Oh, Wait. fuck. <laughs> I thought it was actual music. I thought it was too. Right, we're about to go for a rip here. Let's see this thing rips in here. Make sure there's nobody. Don't want the freaking port. Don't want the port, port pol police, port police coming me. after us. It's like, God, look at the weather. It's so nice out there. Why don't we go fishing? I usually see dolphins and stuff every time I come down here and pick up stuff. This thing's got heaters. Yeah. It sounds good too. Oh, yeah. Sick. Turbo charge. There's all kind of like, like these hidden gem cars in Japan. Oh yeah, it's crazy on what cars are turbo that you'd be like, what the hell, really? That came turbo charge? Like, Everything's turbo. <laughs> Alright. The other vehicle. Aristo V3000. I oh, mean, V300. <laughs> so nasty. Look at this thing. Right hand drive. Ooh. Vertex edition. Damn, damn. On some Mavericks. JDM protector headlights. Yo, these are sick. That's what that's all about. Look at this right here. All right, what we got, what we got? Big Oh, shit, the Big Pimpin'. That's the Big Pimpin'. Holy shit, this is a 2J? That's a factory 2J turbo. He's got enough NASA to blow himself up. Yeah. Dude. Hey, let me rip this motor out of here. <laughs> Nasty. Dude, in this thing, looking like a VIP death machine. It, it probably is. Holy shit. Dude, with the sick headlights too? Wow. Mark, get me a little bit up. The real VIP experience. Look at that slick interior. Damn. All leather. <laughs> oh, wrist. Oh, wrist. Hmm. This is nice. You know, I can get used to one of these. I need a VIP car in the fleet. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Yo, hey, we got a subscriber pull up. Hey, what's your name? Alan. Alan, Alan what's up, bro? What's hey, you been watching the channel? You see us picking up? Yeah. I, I, New I, content? I, I actually heard this one. I was over here working. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Hey, thank you, man. What do you think? It's nice. 
this no this is gonna be new for the channel this just came from japan i ordered one of these back in like october Did your light works? lights and then they never plugged it in she working now boy let's go all right driving it home oh it's feeling good oh yeah filling her up my brand new nissan getting ready for the drive all the way back to sacramento and i have to do some prep work before i go back hopefully we make it look at this nice backyard <laughs> All right, we got the car hidden over here. R34 hidden in the backyard in LA. Just like how Paul Walker found his. Oh. All right, so this is the new addition to the menagerie of cars that we have. I have to say, I like this one. Um, a lot. Have no idea how he's gonna make it back on the right side. It's cool, right? I, yeah, it's I I I said it's so much better than what we have. Oh. Except for the Corvette and the Audi. <laughs> oh, and the, and the spider. <laughs> yes. New baby, so new baby. Right? Mm -hmm. We need more cars. Nope. <laughs> you, got, you sell off. Supra next year. Sell off a few other ones uh, and then, then we can talk. Uh, no? Supra? I, what did I say? <laughs> Look at this thing. <laughs> yeah, oh. it's really nice. It's so sexy. We need like 20. <sighs> Only halfway there. Exactly what I need right here. Made a pit stop real quick at Home Depot. We need one of these. Gotta tape up the front end. Boost weather. This thing is driving very nicely. It's a six hour drive all the way back to Sacramento. Hopefully I make it. Temp's good. Oil's good, fuel's good. She's feeling smooth. Just made it off the grapevine. This is what it looks like all taped up. I did a pretty nice job, don't you think? <laughs> okay. Protecting it from all the rock chips. This thing's doing fantastic. Fueling up, back on the road. Ooh, damn, she looks good. Oh, I'm in love. <laughs> These guys in the Porsche over here, they're loving it. They're just, <laughs> they're following me and they just keep passing and they give me thumbs up all day long. This shit is hella funny. <laughs> and the AC works. 
ice. Blowing ice cold. Ooh. Driver number 145, shower 11, is now available. Where, where am I? I'm really glad I taped this up because we definitely scored some bug kills and some trucks were like kicking up rocks and stuff. So if you make on a long trek, I would definitely do this on any car that has nice paint. Yeah, the little, yeah. The water's out. <laughs> oh my goodness. All this right. thing is crazy. We made it. Okay, 600 mile drive all the way from Long Beach to here. That was a trip. Now we can do all this off. And then it protected all that paint. Man, I gave this thing a wash and then now it's, it's dirty again where it wasn't taped. It sounds hella good. <laughs> you like start it up. It's like freaking. Yeah, no, this thing's great. It, it's so weird. And it was talking Japanese to me in here. It was, <laughs> yeah, it's got like a little Japanese uh, tag thing. This thing right here, you go through like the Japanese toll with. And look at this thing. Only 63,000 kilo 63, kilometers. So that is about 30,000 uh, miles. So this thing is pretty damn new for 1998. Sick. Hey, you gotta learn how to drive stick now, or what? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Vlad already knows I mean, how. I already know, but, it's but he's just out of practice. Yeah, I need to, I need to get that. That's why I told you you should have got an FRS that was stick. I could put it in manual, <laughs> but it's the. It doesn't. You don't move it or anything. Yeah, you got, you got, you got, you got, you got the paddles. I got paddles, but you can, you can use it. Right, we're gonna show you how to learn, use a real stick shift. Get to the left hand. Savage. Look at how good this thing looks. God damn. We're gonna have to take this and lower it in the next video. So if you're looking to get one of these or any Japanese JDM car, let me know, DM me. We're gonna set up a session on the website where we will find you a car just like this for your price point. So whatever it is that you want, basically I'll show you the whole process, show you where the financing is, talk you through the whole shipping it here, and then you go and pick it up at the port or we'll drive it to you, kinda of depends on the situation and where you are but definitely they are all gonna be shipped into Long Beach Port just like my car. And you want a GTR or a GTST or an R34 or a Sylvia, the S15s are now available and you can order those as well. We'll set up a section on the website where you can place down a deposit and then we will find you your dream car just like mine. This is so amazing. It's definitely a dream come true. I can't believe I have an R34. <laughs> what color should I wrap this next? Let me know in the comments. Let me show you this one thing before we end. Over here, over here. This is the wheels for the wide body MR2. We're gonna take this down to Mo and we're gonna have him lower that R34 and give him the wheels. You guys wanna see? Come here, come here. 